Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is not a press conference, it's more an experiment. We are here in the middle of the road. It's a sort of on the gone conference. And I want to thank you very much for uh, having been able to, to be here and to attend uh, this uh, short meeting with the final Italian style snack. Uh, so don't go away. I mean, uh, you, you have a reason for staying. And uh, the reason we're here first, and we need to thank uh, uh, the Hansener Group for hosting this, the most beautiful, most interesting and sexiest aircraft of all their show. And uh, today we're focusing on the Sky Air, but they also have other products and I invite you to, to check them out. And uh, okay, the reason we are here is because uh, uh, an, a product like the Sky Arrow uh, is now uh, changing ownership. The, and the new company is a very large Italian, probably the largest private Italian group in aerospace. Uh, I will give this the word to, uh, to the chief operating officer, Ms. Mr. Giorgio Iannotti, in a, in a few moments. And uh, he will tell you about, uh, about uh, uh, Magnaghi Aeronautica. And uh, in so far, we are here. Uh, the Sky Arrow you see is not the new version. Uh, as you know, uh, the original company which marketed the design and marketed the Sky Arrow back from 1993 uh, closed its door in 2008. And uh, we had this long interval of inactivity where only a few enthusiasts could keep up with the, uh, the routinary works of the company. Now, that uh, from last December, Magnag Aeronautica took over all the assets, including certifications of this uh, aircraft. Uh, we are, uh, and they are willing to invest into this product. Uh, we are going to uh, see a brand new product and uh, which is going to be presented at Oshkosh. So once again, this is the old Sky Arrow. Uh, George is going to describe in, in brief what the, the, the updates and, uh, and uh, the improvements are on the, on the new aircraft. And uh, uh, in any case, if whoever you want to uh, check this out, I mean, because the aircraft is still the same, we can arrange for demo flights in the, today or the next days. And uh, uh, we have here the Hansen twins. They will be ready to take you flying uh, and uh, glad to take you flying if, if, you, if, you, if you like the idea. And uh, this also gives me the opportunity to thank the Hansens once again for their uh, everlasting uh, support, even when the, the original manufacturer closed the door and uh, went out of business. They've been keeping up with the, this design, and I hope this will be awarded in the, in the next future, starting from Ashkosh. Okay, uh, I don't have much more to add to this, and I would like to give word to uh, Giorgio Iannotti, Chief Operating Officer for Magnaghi Aeronautica. Okay, Juan, thank you for coming, Ricardo. Explained uh, very well the reasons why we are here. Magnaghi, just a few words on the company itself. Uh, Magnaghi is a company which is working in the aerospace since 1936, so it's very old. We are in the aerospace uh, business for uh, essentially FAR 25 aircraft, so for uh, uh, aerostructure and composite material and uh, systems, uh, landing gears, hydraulics, uh, whatever is necessary to fly to land an aircraft. So we have a, a very long background on that. Uh, in the last year we have seen an opportunity uh, with this product uh, which has a, a real passionate background. So you can find a lot of people loving this kind of aircraft. So we were very happy uh, to start again this product and avoid uh, that uh, such kind of aircraft uh, would have died in, a, in the future. So we will relaunch, uh, uh, as Ricardo was saying, the product in the next month. We are starting the production since January, so we are in an organization phase. In, uh, in June we will have a, a modified version with a new aerodynamics performance, uh, essentially for the horizontal stabilizer, new state-of-the-art avionics, and uh, some other modifications that will improve uh, slightly performance. There are other projects that are, have a, a longest period uh, in front of that uh, from a design perspective uh, that will be brought uh, uh, up to the end. So hopefully we will have some other improvements in terms of weight. We are working on some carbon fiber uh, optimization uh, for the product. Uh,
yeah, well, the, 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 the aircraft that will uh, we be presented in Oskosh uh, will have uh, additional uh, fuel tanks in the week, so we'll have uh, longer endurance performance up to six hours. This is more or less, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I'm not used to such kind of uh, uh, presentation, generally there is a, a closed room, so it's a, it's a different experience for me, so I apologize if I was slightly boring in my speech. And you will forgive me for another mother tongue spe uh, speaker, not so for, for people that come from an uh, English speaker. If you have questions or whatever, uh, I try to be very short, and not uh, too... When do you think production will begin? Production has already started. Um, we are completing some aircraft, some aircraft that were in work in progress. Uh, we will have the first one uh, with the new installation uh, between May and June to be presented for Oskosh. And then we will have, uh, for this year, uh, capacity rate up to 3-4 per month. So this is the capacity for this year. We are trying to be very uh, conservative in the approach to, to make the proper steps and uh, and uh, I know that this is a niche market product more than a, a, a large volume uh, numbers. What we, what we will push uh, a lot will be the aerial working uh, uh, version of the aircraft. Uh, if, if you look, uh, if you go on the internet, you can find uh, a lot of application from an aerial working. Uh, we have already uh, certified for the certified version, of course, the uh, uh, geo stabilizer uh, platform for. Uh, uh, cameras, uh, infrared, uh, for several applications. There are some of these aircraft flying for environmental research. So what we are targeting a lot is the aerial work. Will you remain focused on light sport aircraft? Yes, or yes. The, the light sport do, aircraft uh, we give the volumes. Essentially, you used to have or you formerly had part twenty five or part twenty three approval. Yes, Will yes. you continue with yes, that as well? Yes, yes, yes. We in 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 Europe we already applied for the. Uh, POEA and DOEA, uh, for, uh, so you know that uh, in Europe you, get, you have these kind of uh, formalities. We're learning your <laughs> so, And uh, we already applied, we will have uh, the DOEA approval uh, uh, beginning of next, next month, and immediately after the POEA, so it's uh, design and then product, production. Do you see other aircraft in the pipeline? Yes, we see. We are working on a project that, were, that uh, the old company was already bringing ahead. Uh, it's a four-seat aircraft, general aviation four-seat aircraft, uh, low wing, uh, starting from a, a design from Celio Frati, which is a, a, an old designer. So, so we we will uh, bring this uh, uh, up to the end. We are looking for the financial aspect of the moment. Will the Hansen Group have yes. a the operation yes. here, which will be able to assemble the airplane. That's here. why we are here, actually. <laughs> so, yes, yes. No, we, we, we only I believe... can take one step at a time now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but by the way, we, we, we started to discuss with John, uh, uh, and uh, we recognize that one of the reasons that the aircraft is still uh, flying and, and is still uh, valuable is also thanks to the Ansons. So we will uh, proceed in, in, the, in this path. We are discussing in which way. But for the U.S. market, we believe this will be the opportunity. And we, we thank you again for, for hosting us. So you're saying that for some assembly of the aircraft, you'll consider doing some of these things in the United yes. States? Yes, we, we are discussing this. It's, uh, you know, it's always a matter of the, uh, At the end, uh, everything is a business perspective, you know, better than me. So we, we are looking for numbers, and as soon as we have uh, finalized, uh, I mean, number of, from a production perspective, but, uh, the rest, we will uh, go forward. We are very focused, we are uh, very passionate on that, so it's, uh, and the, the company itself uh, doesn't survive uh, uh, all the crises that the aerospace has had in these years so without being passionate and constant on uh, investment and uh, uh, people, essentially. So. How large is your company? We have uh, 600 people, and uh, internal, I mean permanent people. Uh, roughly 120, 130 million dollars revenue. Yeah, you will find the, all this information in the press release that Roberto is going to distribute to you guys before we go to the snack. And also that brings me to give you uh, my apologies because the, the new website is, is not online yet. So you won't find, unfortunately, on the maniagronautica.it all the news regarding these aircraft, but they will be online the next days. And we'll do our best, so uh, everybody has my contacts, so, so uh, I'm ready to give you all the information you need in the next days and weeks. And uh, 
Next, uh, next appointment for us will be Priedi Schaffen at the IRO 2012. And I don't know how many of you will be there, but uh, we'll be gladly making uh, newer uh, announcements on that. Uh, and before we wrap it up, I would like to have here Charles Stites from Able Flight. Uh, Charles is the president of uh, uh, one of the most touching organizations uh, involved in flying, helping disabled people to uh, leave the wheelchair on the ground and, and taking wings. So I would ask uh, Charles to give a, a few words of testimonials yeah. on, on his activities and on the Sky Air. Thank you, Ricardo. When I founded Eagle Flight in 2006, it was partially because this airplane existed. Uh, John Hansen, had, in April of that year, here at Sun and Fun, showed me the hand controls, which you can see demonstrated in the airplane. And immediately I, I realized that now we had an option with the light sport uh, airplane and the sport pilot rule to bring more people into aviation. We've already gotten, well, we'll have 20 licensed in about a month. There's 20 new licensed pilots, all with significant physical disability. And I think this very airplane, we've had four or five people licensed in. And it'll be going to Purdue this summer and be part of our training program there, uh, along with another Sky Arrow uh, that a young man owns in Philadelphia. So we'll have at least another three or four people who use wheelchairs train in this airplane this year. And that's a significant thing, and it's also for us very significant. We're very excited that this airplane will be back in production with that uh, hand control option. So it's uh, good news for Able Flight. Thank you very much.